Okay. Moving on. Uh, the more, kind of slightly more serious, I guess, uh, side of the show here, or this episode. Uh, in the running, or at the top of the list for this week's Shitty Corporation Award go uh, is Marathon Pharmaceuticals, LLC. Uh, now, this is a, a company... Uh, who they specialize in something called uh, orphan drugs, and that's basically a special sort of uh, classification that the FDA has for pharmaceuticals meant to treat rare diseases. And it's like something like under 200,000 200, or less people in the country that have it, and it qualifies as an orphan drug or something. But anyway, they announced, uh, on Thursday, the FDA announced that it had approved a drug for the treatment of uh, Duchenne uh, muscular dystrophy. It's uh, D-U-C-H-E-N-N-E, muscular dystrophy. And again, links in the description for that. Uh, this is a drug that has been uh, put through by Marathon Pharmaceuticals, and it is actually the first uh, medication of its kind uh, for treating this this illness. It's a it's an illness that usually hits uh, young boys at around I think it's somewhere around three to five years old, five to fifteen, something like that. And uh, it's a steroid, and it, it helps with it, it doesn't treat the disease or cure it, but it, it sort of slows it down. It slows down some of the effects of it. Um, now, the drug's name is, generic name is Deflazacort, I believe. Uh, again, link in the description, and I'll spell it, type it out down there. And uh, it was actually not a new uh, drug. It's actually been around uh, for a number of years. Uh, I've found studies dating back to about almost 10 years ago in Canada and the uh, UK as far as its uh, studies being done as far as the, for using it for the treatment of uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy and various other ailments, uh, arthritis, things like that. It's like, like pregnazone, but it, it doesn't have the same kind of side effects. Well, and it had been sort of unofficially used until now uh some some uh patients or families of, or parents of, of patients with this illness have been importing it uh from the UK and from Canada uh, and using it for the treatment of their their children's uh, muscular dystrophy but you know now fortunately thanks to marathon pharmaceuticals they will be able to get it the FDA approved version uh, in America, for eighty nine thousand dollars a year. Let me say that again. Eighty nine thousand dollars per year is what Marathon Pharmaceuticals says that they would be charging for this medication. And that alone is like. Seriously, really? Damn. But it gets better. The families that were at were actually importing it from UK and Canada had actually been paying on average around sixteen hundred dollars a year. And the w reason they were able to do that is because uh, technically, importing drugs from other countries that are not approved by the FDA is isn't is not legal. Now, the FDA, for a couple of reasons, sometimes kind of employs sort of a "don't ask, don't tell" kind of policy on, on on the process on the uh, on the process because for a couple of reasons. One, if there isn't an FDA currently an FDA approved uh, equivalent 
then it's sort of like a, well, they can't really get it here anyway, so they kind of turn a blind eye to it there. And also, too, in some cases, it's it's a PR thing. You know, if it's just an end user, like like if, you know, your grandma is prescribed a certain medication and she's on a fixed income, if she can go cross over the border to Canada and get it for, like, half the price... You know, they don't really want pictures you to open up your friggin' Sunday paper and see grandma in cuffs just because she's trying to get a better deal on, on her, her you know, friggin' blood pressure medicine. So they usually kind of let it slide. However, they're not with this one. Because there are some special things that apply in this case. Like, for instance, because it's for a rare... Uh, a rare disease um, they're actually given like an extended period of time where they are where Marathon Pharmaceuticals has the exclusive rights to produce it and because of that the FDA will not allow uh, people to bring in the cheaper the same drug for cheaper for <laughs> a shitload cheaper from some other country, for one. And that's the thing like, like that, that really gets me about it, is that, that not only is this company uh, jacking a price up from about $1,600 a year to 89000 Again, say it with me, 89000 But they didn't, they didn't even do all the work on the drug. And see, that's that's their 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 line. Oh well, it costs us. You know, we're not going to sell that many of them because not many people have this this illness. And you know, it costs us so much money to do the research and the development on this medication. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: they didn't. There actually, uh, there's actually work going back on the generic, the uh, uh, deflazacort drug. Going back into like the early, like late 80s or something like that, I believe was when it was first produced. In fact, one of the, because there was a, a research already available, they were able to use some of that research to reduce their cost uh, to, to, when they applied for uh, FDA approval, they were actually able to use, apply that research as opposed to having to do all of it themselves. One of the drug studies that they used was done in the early 90s that they were able to uh, turn into the FD file with the FDA uh, when they applied for approval. And on top of that, because uh, when they applied, because of it being for a rare drug, they got all sorts of little perks in addition. Uh, let's see, they got, they were able to do things like uh, okay, so when they uh, applied for the approval, they received fast track designation, which they actually ap applied for the approval less than a year ago. It was like six months ago. And then priority review, which means basically it goes to the top of the list because oh, it's it's there's nothing else on the market for it, that particular uh, to treat that particular uh, that condition in that particular way. So it got priority review status. It also received an orphan drug designation, which is uh, they again they get uh, tax breaks. They actually get tax incentives to help offset the cost of the R and D. So they're getting help there as well. They also didn't have to do all the R and D themselves in the first place. And on top of everything else, they're also getting something called a rare pediatric disease priority review voucher. Now that's the biggie. The big one. Uh, the I had to do a little bit of research into it and found out a pediatric disease priority review voucher is a program intended to encourage the development of, uh, of new drugs. And essentially that voucher is essentially a, is basically a ticket to get your, your drug fast tracked or to get that priority review which cuts, like, months off of the process to get approval done. And it's transferable. So they have this voucher now, 
and they could actually sell it to another company that wants to get one of their drugs uh, fast-tracked or, or pushed through the system faster. Uh, in fact, I've read a few articles that say these things have actually sold for like tens of millions of dollars for these, these vouchers. Like if a, a company has one, they can sell it to another company and make millions off of it. Now, on top of everything, on top of all of that, the tax breaks, the accelerated uh, approval, the, the fact they didn't have to do most of the research themselves anyway, they still feel that it's necessary to try to stick it to people trying to pay this medi- uh, buy this medication so their kids live longer for $89,000 a year when they were able to get it and if it weren't illegal, we're able to get it, would be still able to get it for less than 2000 a year. So, yeah, that's basically, that's my, my uh, dick move of the week award right there. So, there you go. And sorry for that little rant, uh, if it ran a bit long, but... Uh, again, I will post a number of links for this one in the description below if you want to do a little further reading. And, you know, that's it for now. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.